Hello, welcome back. In the last episode, we discussed the SQL Server monitoring capabilities that were introduced in the ultimate tier of the prism. Now let's talk about other two new capabilities introduced in the 2020.8 release. Both of those capabilities leveraged our cloud services. First one is the discovery. Observability cannot work until we know what we observe. So in this case, we provide a capability for our users to uh, discover the application running on the VMs automatically without installing any additional ingress agent. The way we're doing that is we look into the network IP fix data and actually send them to an engine we're running in the cloud so that we can have a powerful analysis and get the results instantly and send back to the prison. Once the data coming back, uh, you have a flow to validate the results and augment the results with the knowledge you have about the application in your environment. Also, the final results will be available through the API to the third-party CMDB system. So let's take a look how that works in a product demo. Last episode, we demonstrated how you can connect a SQL Server instance and get key performance indicators from the SQL Server so you can get a full stack view. But many times the first thing the admin wants to know is actually how many application, what kind of application running in my environment. For that, we provide app discovery features. You can ac access that features in the operations menu and the app discovery page. Once you get there, uh, first you will get a uh, information about what application the system automatically discover for you. Um, and we discover application based on the port they running. And sometimes uh, you have a customer's made application or you actually change the port uh, from the well-known port to a customer port. So in that case, you can provide us that information for us to identify those applications. So for example, here, we have an unknown application instance discovered on this VM on the UDP port 546. If the admin knows what application it is, they can click the application and identify that. And the system will automatically remember that and it will not only show the application in this view, but in the future, it will be using that similar rules to discover the other similar applications. Once you identify all the applications, you can publish the list of those discovered applications, and that list will be available through the API to the third-party system, such as CMDB. This is one of the features that in this release requires cloud connection because we're sending uh, the data to the new text cloud and allow a engine we run in that cloud to process the data to understand and discover those applications and send the information back. The another feature that you need a cloud connection is the cost management. In this release, we include the cost management for new Telex environment as part of a prism. This feature used to be offered as Beam for on-prem. Now it's all part of a prism. You can access this feature through the operations menu and the cost management page. Once you get there, you can access the uh, Beam services of running inside Nutanix Cloud. You can get the cost, budget information, showback and chargeback functionalities for your Nutanix environment. Through those capabilities, you can build a very sophisticated TCL model to include the infrastructures and the software and to build a unit VM cost. In addition to that, you can create cost centers a business unit and map those VM into those business organizations and have a clear reporting to allow these organizations to understand the cost of their resources. You can also define a budget, and we're going to continuously monitoring 
the usage of a budget so that businesses can have a much better way to control their costs. All these capabilities formerly offered through by Beam for on-prem, now it's part of the ultimate tier of Prism. Last several episodes give you a high-level introduction of the new and enhanced capabilities in the Prism operation offerings from this new release. Stay tuned for more episodes to help you use those features to make your IT operations more efficient. Thank you.